Placing an order within the team office. Click on Place an order, whether it's in the quick links or along the top menu. You'll be able to see the category view has images of the items. If you wanted to see more about the item, you just click on it and it'll provide you a little bit more information. If you wanted to add those to your cart, you can click how many quantities and click one. To go into other categories, you would click on the tabs along the top. If you'd like to see this cart in a different view, you can switch it to quick view and you'll be able to see each category along with the items that fall underneath those categories, but there are no images. So you can switch back and forth between those. Once you have added everything to your cart, you can then click view cart. You'll be able to see that this one item is in there. You can delete it. You can update it by changing items, quantities, and then you can proceed to check out or continue shopping. This is where you choose your shipping address. It's the address on file for you to ship to, or you can choose a different address to ship it to. This is where you select your shipping method. And this is a summary of your order. You'll be able to see what you're ordering, how it's shipping, how much tax and shipping is, and then your grand total. You'll see where it is shipping to, and then you'll be able to see that this account has a credit card on file, and you can select to use that card, or you can select new card to use a different card. If you're using a card on file, at this point, all you need to do is enter in a CVV code. You can see that a bonus bin balance is listed right here and your order total is only $70, so you can go ahead and use your bonus bin if you choose to. If you don't, you leave that zero and then just process click to confirm that you agree to these orders, terms and conditions and submit your order. If you don't use bonus bin funds at that time, all the funds will hit your credit card. Now your order has been placed. It will provide you your order number along with all of the details within the order and at this point you can print. But if you choose not to print and you want to uh, be able to view your orders historically then you can go under ordering and order history to go back and review any orders that you've placed. As you can see uh, there was a, one order place that ended in 932 and one order place that ended in 952 today. You can change the start and end dates to go wider if you choose to. And if you want to go ahead and see the order, you can click into the order and it'll pop it up, which will then bring up the order details for you. That is how you place an order and view order history.